A pheasant gets up. The shot goes off. The bird is down. Your dog completes a perfect retrieve, but then it all goes wrong. How much displeasure should you show to a dog? Spaniel Mickey decided that he was going to help him with his lord and unfortunate went to grab it. Den being the sensitive dog that he is, gave it up very, very easily. It's not what I wanted because I've got a wounded bird, I want it back quick, I don't want dogs mouthing it. So as a result, Mickey got a ticking off. He's quite a sensitive dog. Uh, you tailor your ticking off to the dog. Some dogs need a firm hand, some dogs a growl will be more than enough. So the art in training a dog is knowing what type of dog you've got and what level of pressure it requires. Too much pressure and you'll get the dog worried. Not enough pressure and you're always ticking the dog off. Now I would say that it looked like Mickey had a really big ticking off there from, from the outside. So that's not, that's not a big ticking off particularly. The question is, if it's a serious ticking off, the dog is worried when off you go again. If you can see in the video, Mickey then hunts on quite happily afterwards. So actually, hopefully it's lesson learned, but I haven't squashed his drive or enthusiasm or got him that upset. And then a little bit later on, a bit like a naughty child, you gave him a treat. I gave him his retrieve. Thing is, he worked hard all morning. He watched the other dogs having retrieves. He's a capable retriever. Uh, so I wanted, f for f the reward for his efforts was nice straightforward little pheasants that he went out, picked and brought nicely to hand. Ricky Maloney runs Ribblesdale Labradors. This series on gun dog training tips is brought to you by Skinner's Pet Foods, maker of the field and trial range of gun dog feeds. Visit skinnerspetfoods.co.uk.